Hi everyone, this tutorial is for creating a horizontal sliding window in Rhino 5. So this is an idea of uh, what we're going to be creating. It's just a basic uh, 4x6, uh, 8 foot head height window. Uh, so let me move this to the side and show you the steps that I took to, to create them. So let's move that and let's hide it. Um, let's, I'm going to start with the default layer and create a line that's about 10 feet long. Uh, I'm using feet and inches for my units so depending on what units you have you'll you'll have to adjust that accordingly. Extrude curve let's make it a 10 foot so that's a 10 foot by 10 foot wall and if we offset surface and you flip the direction you'll see that if uh, depending on what thickness you want to make the wall uh, it'll make it five and a half inches and now you have that wall which you're going to want to change into uh, the layer that you have named so the way that I change a layer to the, uh, to a layer the way that I change an object to a layer is I select it first then if you right click on the layer and then change object layer it'll change it to that layer but if you have it selected and you right click and you go copy objects to layer it'll keep that object in that layer that you had it originally and it'll copy it onto the wall layer so let's take a look at how we create the opening so the way to create an opening is you go to the side view and uh, I'm gonna make an, the, the opening it's gonna be uh, four by six so let's do a four foot or let's do it this way a polyline you're gonna go four foot vertical six foot horizontal and this is just kinda the the decision that I had made of the, the wall that I wanted or the window that I wanted and once you have that you can move it from that center point to that center point and depending on where you want the wall located or the window located you can move it up so I'm gonna move it up eight feet and as you can see now we have that rectangle that we can then extrude I like to do both sides for uh, for this type of intersection you can delete that line select the object type in BD for boolean difference and then select the other object and now you have a subtraction created by that rectangle which will help us get started here then what you want to do is put the construction plane on this face by typing in C plane and then S for surface now you can pick where you want that C plane and if you use the default uh, commands on that it'll, it'll put it on the face now we go to the frame we do from out to out we can offset about depending on what you want I'm gonna make it one inch and then I can take those two lines and extrude them not both ways but just in one one way back that way and we can go ahead and delete that outside line then we take this side or we can delete both of those because we're, since it's a horizontal slider we're going to take the second frame and we're going to create a rectangle from here to the center point to the midpoint and then we offset this whatever thickness you want that wall the, the window to be so let's extrude this by one and a half inch will make that the thickness of that window and if you select that curve delete it and that one make glass current your glass layer and then type in planar surface for you to have that that plane so it creates a plane where that rectangle is and you can move that from that endpoint to that midpoint and now we have the window the glass and the and the frame what I what I do is I select both of them and do control G to group and now we can go ahead and mirror this 
and then move this back because that's how the the window is going to slide back and forth. Um, now we can move this back one inch. So click on that arrow, minus one. Okay, so now we're we're in a really nice place. Then once you have this, then you want to go into the, your uh, your big layer. <laughs> That's what they call them, big and small. Uh, I guess it's your primary layer for your window, and you can type in block, and that way you can make this into a block. I had already created one, so we'll type in window two, and that way. Let me see. I'll put the C plane at the top. C plane at the top. And I'll show you that that's, that's about what we got. And if we wanted to, you know, update one, not the other, since they're, lay they're blocks, I want to make this one open. It'll, it'll create this one open and that one open. When you start mirroring things, it'll, it'll mess with the direction. So. so now we have a window that's open and a window that's closed. And, and OK, that works. So that gives you an idea of how to create a horizontal sliding window.